back by popular demand. Welcome to another episode of Dr. Fantastic Cooks. I'm here in my kitchen in Ambergris Key Island in the fantastic country of Belize on maybe my 100th episode. I don't know how many I've done across America in Egypt, uh, in Ukraine, in Turkey, uh, all over the place. Um, so today uh, it's going to be a really fun show. So stay us. Uh, don't go away. We're going to cook beef short ribs, and I'm going to serve them on a bed of mashed potatoes with a side of broccoli and a, a delicious salad. But before we get to that, I want to talk about a couple of things. Um, it turns out one of my favorite, uh, well, as you know, these recipes that I reveal, some of them are, are, are my secret, some are just common. They're fast, they're easy, they're inexpensive, and they're delicious. And... Uh, Guaranteed. So what I learned today, I always like learning new things, is I love ramen noodles. My wife would always be embarrassed when I bought them because they cost 10 cents. Um, they cost 5 cents in Egypt, I think. But they are delicious. And um, so I have a 30-second recipe on how to make them fantastic. Most people put the water in them and eat them like noodles. No, 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 no. I crush them like this. All crushed up. Then um, I add secret ingredients. The other day, I, um, we, uh, we, Kat and I, made some chicken. We put it in the crock pot, and uh, it, it was a lot of chicken. It was like 10 uh, thighs or something. So I froze eight portion size chickens um, so I could have a burrito. I wanted a burrito. I'm going to show you a burrito trick in a second here. Um, and so if you put the, uh, the chicken in the chicken Delicious! I had it yesterday. It cost pennies. It was so delicious. Um, and the chicken was just really cooked with salt, pepper, and a couple of spices. Uh, if, you, if you get the shrimp, put some shrimp in it. You know, if there's a beef one, you can put a little beef in it. So you can, uh, and vegetable, they have a vegetable noodle, uh, and you can put vegetables in that one. Uh, or you can put all of them together uh, for a great soup. Here's what I learned today. 95 billion of them are consumed every year. Billion. That's 260 million a day. A day, every day. 260 million people eat this every day. A lot of college students, a lot of poor people. But, you know, I've spent $100 on a meal before. Went, why spend $100 on a meal when you can spend a dollar? You know, I mean, of course, it's a business expense and all that good stuff. So, before we get to the meal, I want to show you a couple of those. Um, oh, before I forget, it is mango season. So I took a bunch of French, uh, fresh mangoes and I put them in an ice tray and I froze them. So now these are fantastic as a snack. You know, let me uh, demonstrate because they're so delicious. They're frozen. Mm. Refreshing on a hot day. And it's summer, so it's like a popsicle, but healthy. Or you put it in your cocktail, even better. So I wanted to show you that little trick. I also wanted to show you a little trick for a quick 30-second lunch. Fire up your grill with this little fancy device here. Okay. And what you do is you put your flour tortilla on the pan while you're eating your mango stick. Mm, so good. Yeah. Live television, what can you do? The stove wasn't very much money, but it doesn't work that great. So there's some rules to cooking, but I like to call them rules. The first rule is to have fun in the kitchen. I know a lot of people say, I can't cook. Can is a very negative word. Um, Henry Ford said, if you say you can't, you're right. And if you say you can, you're right. So instead of saying I can't cook, say I'm looking forward to learning how to cook. What happens if no one's around to cook for you? You know? So heat the tortilla up. Now, another rule, these rules, have fun in the kitchen. Teach your spouse to cook, your insignificant other, your kids. It's so much fun cooking. And don't take it serious. Have fun in the kitchen. And if you like, you don't like onions, don't use onions. I love onions. I cook them in everything. Uh, so this is something I just 
invented the other day. I think you're going to get a kick out of it. It's a bean burrito, okay? Um, so let me get to the rules real quick. Have fun. Always have a sharp knife. These little um, sharpening stones are really great. Be careful with a the knife. They are sharp. They can cut. I'm going to show you how to cut in a minute if you don't know how. Uh, so that when you get this nice and hot, a couple turns. <laughs> You're going to love this. It's, I don't know if anyone's done it before. So getting back to the rules. Have fun. Um, sharp knife. Uh, this this recipe, by the way, here's the, um, the, the short ribs. Flour, salt, pepper, onions, garlic, and that's it for that. Oh, and some, some beer. So I, I, I called for beer. I haven't had beer in a couple of days. So I said, what a great excuse to have a, have a beer. Uh, so the, the meal is going to have a beer, and I'm going to have a beer with it. Because if you drink while you're cooking and it doesn't come out so well, you don't feel so bad. Mm. On a hot day, it's fantastic. So what you can do quicker to do the 30-second deal is you put it right on the flame like that. Count a couple seconds, turn it, a couple seconds, turn it. But here, here's the trick I learned. After you get that warm, take your beans. They sell beans in all different ways. And throw it on the, on the pan like that. But here's the trick. Take your, uh, your to tortilla and smush it down. So now you're covering the entire flour tortilla with the bean, and it quite literally cooks in 30 seconds. Let me see how that comes out. Actually, yes, yesterday came out a little easier than this. There you are. 30 seconds. It cooks in 30 seconds. It's fantastic. It's already hot. Put a little um, pico de gallo on it or what have you, and you've got yourself a burrito. Okay, so let's – enough of that one. Now, to uh, – Cook the short ribs. Let me put that on low so I don't uh, overheat. Now, I, I did, I did uh, a bird's eye view here because I want you to see all, all the cooking. A lot of times it's just me cooking. You don't really see what I'm cooking. So you got the, you got the ribs. Now, all you do is salt and pepper them. Why does it keep looking? It sounds like it's going out all the time. I use Himalayan uh, sea salt or Himalayan pink salt, rather. Salt and pepper to taste. Salt. And um, the thing about cooking these ribs, when you cook them right, they are so tender. They literally melt in your mouth. So cover both sides with salt and pepper. Actually, there's four sides to it. Okay, now the pan is a little bit hot, so I'm going to put a little bit of uh, grapeseed oil like that. And I'm going to put a little butter like that. Give them more flavor. Heat that up. Now, oh, and here's the third rule. You want your meal to come out at the same time. So... You know, uh, this is going to take two hours. So I'm, uh, after I cook it, uh, how, after I show you how to cook it here, it's going to go in the crock pot and simmer for a couple hours, two, three hours. So you don't want to cook the potatoes or, or the vegetables now. You can cook, cook or prepare the salad beforehand because you want everything to come out at the same time. You know, imagine uh, your potatoes don't come out 20 minutes after you serve the steak or, or what have you. That's an example. That's not cool. Uh, another rule is plating. Make a nice presentation, and there's a whole art to plating. And there we go. Now we got dog food. Listen, never let anything stress you out. <laughs> you know, uh, you can't let life stress you. It, accidents happen. Shit happens. Anyway, oh, did I tell you that I took um, the chicken? I, I froze them into twelve uh, or eight to ten portions, so I could have a burrito, I could have a, a soup. You know, my memory is not the greatest, so I, I try to do the best I can. It's about a medium heat, a little medium-high heat. So we're going to braise this, then we're going to roll it in flour, and while we're doing that, we're going to have a beer. While we're waiting to heat up, I have a couple of notes that I want to talk about. 
14 hours ago, <laughs> I've watched a lot of podcasts, The Truth About Roswell, the little documentary came out. 14 hours ago it came out. It's got hundreds of thousands of views already. And I know a lot about Roswell, but it's nice to be reminded. And they had so many testimonies, so many government um, employees that came forward, so much written documentation, physical documentation. Watch it. The Truth About Roswell is quite interesting. And a couple months ago, they made a, a thing called Alien Agenda, Planet Earth. That was a couple months ago. Really fantastic. Again, Stephen Greer, all, all the usual suspects. Okay, that looks like it's pretty hot. So what you want to do, they were putting, you know, if you watch the other episode, I couldn't find these because they were hidden like this. Uh, I like to see them like this anyway. It is what it is. So now you're going to, you're going to brown short ribs. Still not quite hot enough. It's live television. Now, um, just so you know, after these brown, I'm going to take them out and I'm going to put the onions in. But when you boil the potatoes, if you put two potatoes in the water like this, it's going to take a long time to cook. So the secret is to cut them in smaller pieces. The smaller piece you cook, the... Uh, the... Uh, faster it will cook. Now, you don't have to look when you're cutting if you know how to cut correctly. Because what you do is you put your, your fingers like this. And if you make it a little bit of a mess, it's not the end of the world. So I'm going to let these soak. It doesn't matter. Just get them out of the way in the water. I'm not going to turn it on for another hour, but they're not going to go bad by soaking in the water. Broccoli. Love broccoli. Uh... It's called a floret, and uh, you know what? I don't like to waste food, and you probably know that about me if you've been watching the show. The stem here is so, if, if you take it and you cut the outer edge off, and you just get the pulp, I mean the, the heart of it, and you put a little salt on it, it's real broccoli. So, excuse me. I'm going to saute this in onion. Now, the other thing I'm going to do. Is chop the onions. Now, again, you don't have to look at the onion if you know how to chop right. So, what I'll do is I put my fingers like this. Fingers in. And then you're, you've got like a, like a barrier. And you know to move it slowly as you go across the onion or potato, or whatever the hell you're cutting. And you will not cut your finger ever. You will never cut your finger that way. So I'm going to use some of the onions for this dish, and I'm going to use some, some of the onions in the uh, floret. Now, I like to always cook, undercook my food. A lot of people overcook their food, and it's, you, you lose all the flavor. You, I think you lose most, most of the um, nutrients. And then we're going to put some little garlic in there. Now, everyone knows the secret to garlic. Put the garlic clove down, and you just push down, and it comes right out of its little, comes up right out of its little shell. See how fast that is? Now, there's another way I've been practicing. I haven't quite got the hang of it yet. But you, you stab, the, stab it, and you pull it like this. And it comes out of the see it, it almost it almost worked. I'm not I haven't perfected that yet. I just learned it. But basically, you just stab and pull. Oh, there it is. Look at that. <laughs> see, it's like anything in life, practice makes perfect. Practice something long enough, you get good at it, and um, life's beautiful. So, brown the spare ribs, short ribs. There's four sides to it, so I would do all four sides. Brown that. After that's done, take it off. Roll it in the flour. I was supposed to roll it in the flour first. <laughs> I never said I was a perfect cook. Okay, so it's not too late to roll it in the flour. Like I say, don't worry about making mistakes. Mistakes happen. You know, I am on camera. I'm so nervous to be on camera. So when you're, when you're on camera, you get, sometimes you get nervous, right? 
or you, you know, you, it's okay. It's going to come out very fantastic. <laughs> Don't take life serious, really, seriously. Have fun in life. Not a big deal. I mean, it would have been a big deal if it was fully cooked, but it just started. As you see, it's not even hot yet. So roll it in that flour, get it all nice and floury. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't say I was an expert chef. I'm just, I just love to cook and I love to eat. And it always comes out fantastic. Now, this recipe is not fast, fast, I mean, it's fast to prepare, but it's certainly not fast to eat it. I have so many recipes that it really just takes a minute, like that burrito there. That just takes a silly minute to cook. Always nice to have an assistant that's going to um, clean up after you. <laughs> Ooh. Which beer was I drinking? Do you remember which one? It's hot in Belize. What else did I want to talk about? 150 million people have seen UFOs. 150 million. 20,000 landings so far. And full disclosure, it's, Congress has heard about it. It's really an exciting time. I think next year or sooner, we're going to have full disclosure. Um, today is the anniversary, or tomorrow is the anniversary, the 67th, I believe. 67th? I think I wrote it down. 67th? I can't remember these things. 76th. Tomorrow is the 76th anniversary of the term that was coined flying saucer. And it was a pilot who saw them first and described them like little plates and that came out with the term flying saucer. Uh, Roswell was in 47, July of 47. Finally, the truth is, is out there. Uh, the, the, the public's being taught what's new. And tomorrow is my anniversary of not wearing any shoes or sandals. Two months on the planet as an adult on an island without any shoes, socks, sandals uh, of that sort. So that's pretty cool. Um, the only um, time I needed to wear one was um, at a fancy French restaurant, but they had outdoor dining, so I was able to eat outdoors um, at the restaurant. And that was fun. <clears throat> as you can see, my Be Kind signs, which I'm hoping will go around the world and spread kindness. I don't know why it's not sizzling. But that's probably the, uh, that is really strange. It's not sizzling. It should be sizzling by now. I got it on high. You know what it is? It's the wind. It's very hot, so I had the wind. I had the wind coming here, so I, I'm sweating like a pig, as you see I'm wiping my brow. So, again, this is live television. Got it on high now. Yeah, I'm going to start sizzling. Okay, so after, like, again, like I said, I could hear it sizzling already. The wind was blowing, so it wasn't getting that hot. Let me take a new plate. For when I remove them. Again, I could cover this uh, dish when I'm done and have a brew here, but so much easier to put it in a crock pot. It seals nice. And I tell you, two hours, three hours, the longer you cook it, the better. It comes off. It's delicious. It's soft. It's delicious. Salt, pepper, and butter is what I put in my mashed potatoes. You know, saute the onions and saute the florets later, not now, later. And that'll happen. Uh, so what do I talk about while we're waiting for that to sizzle? Uh, I talked about that. Oh, let me show you the salad. Make your salad well before time because it doesn't go bad. Put it in the fridge. I made a salad of red cabbage. Um, red onion, and um, I actually put some sauerkraut in there as well. And basically, if you uh, if I had some beets, that would go nicely too. It's it's very crisp and tangy and delicious. And so the salad beforehand, make that beforehand, and you're in good shape. Okay, I can hear it sizzling. Browning, you get that brown. What, it's doing, what you're doing is you're sealing in the flavors, sealing in the meat. Seal it in there. 
And that's a secret. So let me repeat about um, the uh, my rules. Have fun. Teach your kids. Bring the family in. A family that uh, cooks together, stays together. And of course, I really recommend eating dinner together without cell phones, without uh, external media. Uh, and now you can talk to your family. COVID was a great thing. Bring families together. That's what set me on my journey of 1,100 miles, uh, 1,100 days so far. Um, I wasn't about to sit home, listen to the government. But basically, people started learning how to cook. And I, uh, I give a lot of, lot of advice those first uh, months on the road. I told people to uh, watch comedies, grow a garden, learn how to paint, read a book, you know, uh, have fun with the family. And, and it brought families together. So, you know, everything happens in life as it should, when it should. COVID, you know, I don't agree with it. Uh, it's, it was a bad flu. People die from the flu. Funny enough, the first year of COVID, no one died from the flu because uh, hospitals weren't given thousands of dollars if people died from the regular flu. They died from COVID. They got lots of money. So that's uh, cooking up. Okay. Well, that's good enough, I guess. That looks pretty brown. Does it look brown to you? That kind of looks brown to me. Remember, we're not cooking it. We're just browning it because the cooking will be done in the crock pot. So you remove that from there. Take a big portion of onions. I love onions. I'm going to leave a lot for... You rinse this off. I'm going to leave a, a lot for my broccoli. Now it's too high. And this is only a few minutes. You only need to brown this for a few minutes. I cook everything with onion. I, uh, I put onion in my salads. Um, I put onion everywhere. I just think it's a good base. My wife was is French. My ex-wife is French. And she, she was a gourmet cook. I ate like a king for 35 years. Uh, she was a fabulous cook. You don't always need a spatula. You know, you could toss like this. You don't want to cook high heat over things like that. Um, the uh, garlic, you can chop it up if you want. You know, um, you don't really need to. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be in the, in the crock. Just want to get those cooking like that. Okay, so next ingredient after you cook these up. <laughs> I can't believe I made a mistake on the flour like that. Ah, not a big deal. That looks very nice. Now you add these back in there. These little puppies back in there. Then you're going to add the beer. Bye bye, beer. One can of beer. A little bit for the dish, a little bit for Monty, aka. Oh, Dr. Fantastic. Um, and then beef broth. Now, I was going to buy beef broth, but it was like for a little bitty can, $3.75 American, $7.50. Um, Belize, and I said, I'm not going to blow it down. So I bought the bouillon, same thing, same difference. So it's a powder. It'll be just fine. Now, you're going to simmer this now for two hours. I'm going to start simmering it now, but I'm going to put it in this. I'm going to pour it right into there, put it on low, walk away, watch a couple more documentaries, come back um, 15 minutes before it's done, saute the... Um, 20 minutes before it's done for the potatoes, 15 minutes before it's done for the uh, broccoli. But uh, you can see this. Put a um, tomato, some salsa, roll it like that, and give it to the, uh, the dog. <laughs> you no, know, you eat it like that, but the dog is going to eat this one because it fell into the dog food. Not that it's going to kill me to eat, not eat it, you know. I mean, I hate wasting food, and that's why it's great to have Lulu around because she eats all the food. Um, I guess that's the episode. I'm going to show you what it's all done when it's all done. What it looks like. Oh, again, garlic. You like garlic? Put it a lot in. If you don't like garlic, don't put a lot in. You can cheat if you want and put in what's called, what do they call it in this country? Garlic salt. You can put a little of that in. Not going to hurt. 
you could put in a bay leaf. I don't know if I have a bay leaf or not here or not. Do I have a bay leaf? Cumin? No. That's the recipe. Now I can just relax and I'm going to have the most delicious dinner tonight. It's fantastic Friday. Be kind to yourself by cooking, by eating healthy, by exercising, by thinking positive, by loving yourself, by believing in yourself, knowing you're making all the right decisions in life. It all starts up here. And be kind to everyone else. Give your leftovers to your neighbors. They do that in, when I was living in Egypt for years. They always gave their leftovers to their neighbors. Ramadan was a fantastic time of the year when people were sharing and giving and being kind. So be kind to others. Open doors for people. Say please and thank you and you're welcome and have a fantastic day. Right? The animals don't buy ivory. They'll stop killing elephants. Don't kick dogs. Pet them. Don't eat endangered species. And then be kind to our planet by using less water, electricity. Now, as an example, when I cook this, most people are going to use another pan. One day, and so then you're washing the pans. This is the simplest, fastest way to make a burrito, and you're using less water, less everything. That makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, don't throw away your food. Freeze it. Use it for um, chef salad. This can go to a great chef, chef, chef salad. You know, you want to put two different types of meat in a chef salad, a couple different types of cheese, you know, all their sorts of things. And um, that's the episode, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. Um, I'll probably add the, um, the, the finishing touches later on. Talk to you soon. And there she is in the crock pot. And here we have the final product. 